It's not eggs. Hey everybody, I'm Esther. Welcome back to Esther's Eden. Today I want to talk to you guys about my chicken compost machine. So how do, how do I use my chickens to make compost? How long does it take? And what do I add to the chicken run? That's what we're going to talk about today in this video. So you might be wondering why do we have chickens on our farm? Well, the main reason is not what you'd think. It's not eggs. It's compost. So when we first moved in here, we hired a dump truck to come dump compost for the garden. And then later we were fortunate to get compost from some friends, but we had to use our truck and trailer and go pick it up. So we decided why should we go through all that work when we can just have a few chickens and we can make it ourselves? So the traditional composting system is you get a box, you fill it full of the different things like table scraps or dirt or straw or whatever. And then you turn it and turn it and turn it and water it. And then in the end, sometimes up to a year later, you end up with compost. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a busy mama and I have a really big garden. I don't have that long to be able to not only maintain a compost pile, but also to wait for all of that compost to get done. So I decided to take Paul Gauchy's method and use it here on our farm. And you might be wondering who is Paul Gauchy. Now he is the founder of the Back to Eden Garden Method. If you're wondering what the Back to Eden Garden Method is, I did a very quick overview video on that, which I will leave up here in the iCards for you and also down below in the description box uh, to help you understand what, what that method is. So now that you know my why, let's talk about what we add to the chicken run. So first we add all kinds of things from the garden, old prunings, grass clippings. These are all of the grass clippings that uh, our helpers the other day took out for us. So it's just basically sod. Since these wheelbarrows are so heavy, we're actually going to use the tractor today to help us lift it over the back fence so we don't have to try to wrestle these heavy loads over into the door. So here we are, we're dumping that right over the back fence. And you can see the chickens are already hard at work. They get so excited when we add new things to the run. Here comes load number two. And the chickens know the routine, so they are hurrying out of the way. So this is actually some bedding from the goat barn. It has rabbit manure in it as well as duck. So you're probably wondering where is the compost pile? Because it's certainly not anywhere here. And pardon the shooting in the background. That's, that's North Idaho for you. <laughs> it's, it's the weekend. So this is the only time there's any sort of pile or compost pile on our property. We use the chickens to turn it and it very quickly is changed from this small pile into compost. I think it's pretty easy to tell the chickens really enjoy their job here on our farm. Okay. 
So let's talk about a few other things that we like to add to the run. We use all of our ash from our wood fireplace. You see me placing it along the fence here. And the reason I'm doing that is because this is where the chickens tend to do their dust bathing and they really like the ash for that. So it slowly gets mixed and incorporated into the compost that we have, but not in large amounts. So it's just enough. We don't have to worry about overdoing it. Another thing that we like to add which you will see here, I'm raking back the top layer, is leaves. Now we don't have any leaves on our own farm, but I reach out every year and I let our friends and family know that we will take any of the leaves that they want to bag, bag up for us and we just place them all in the run every fall and it helps to make the most beautiful black compost. So when it comes time to actually use the compost, we don't use the top layer. None of that has been broken down yet and we don't want to put that into the garden. It also contains hot chicken poop and we definitely don't want to burn our plants. So I scrape back the top layer, I don't have to worry about any of those problems and then the finished compost is underneath. Another part of our compost is our deep litter back here. So we deep litter all of the animals and then we put, we'll scoop all of this out and we're actually getting ready to be doing this here really soon. We put it all in, all this dirt area in the run as well as all the other animals, old bedding and droppings and all that kind of thing. And it all goes into here and the chickens turn every single bit into this beautiful black compost. If you're wondering what we're using for deep litter, for our goats and our rabbits, we use straw. For our ducks and our chickens, we use wood chips. And we're not talking like bark you get from a uh, landscaping company. We're talking about fresh wood chips that come off of a, a, a live tree. And then we also use, so this year we used like the curly sawdust, uh, sawdust from, <laughs> from firewood cutting that a friend gave us. There's no cedar in it or anything like that. It's just a uh, pine. And then what I really like to use because it breaks down so fast is the pine shavings. Especially we use that in the nest boxes. Sometimes we'll use straw, but I find for poultry, straw is not my favorite thing. It gets clumpy and um, just forms a solid mass rather than continuing to be turned. Um, so when it starts to look like it is right now, that's like it looks a bit soiled. You can definitely tell like it, it's got like a lot of yuck on it. That's when we add another layer and we don't mix it in. We just let it sit and the chickens do their thing. So we built this chicken run on an old existing road that would, that ran kind of through this homestead. And we did that for a couple of reasons. Number one, we didn't need the road anymore. Number two, we really um, wanted to utilize the space and know exactly where our compost line was. So this ground was so hard you could not get a shovel into it. So first we had the chickens back over here where our greenhouse is now. And we had this whole, the whole um, coop and run system all on that side. You happy babies? Fall's nice, huh? You get all the garden goodies. And then we moved and we rebuilt this entire run behind me so that they, number one, would have more area to go and number two, we could expand the garden again, use this as an animal pen or whatever, whatever we decided, but we wanted to keep our options open. So, the way now that I know exactly how much compost I'm getting out of this system is Maggie is in there playing with the chicken while trying to lay an egg. I don't think it's very happy. So the reason I know exactly how much compost I'm getting out of this area is because when, when we reach the roadbed, your shovel doesn't go any farther. So when we started out with the greenhouse area, 
we were only getting a couple of inches. Our first year of composting like this, we only got one inch of compost off the entire run. The second year we got two inches. Then we moved them over into this area and we started adding a lot more material. And then we started getting 18 inches, 24 inches. And now we get basically everything that we need from our farm. So now we get enough compost out of this run from our chickens, our goats, and our rabbits to be able to compost the entire garden, which is about this about an acre and a half at this point. So in the summer, the chickens get really excited. They come running to this fence right here because when I'm doing weeding, I just huck it over the fence right into the run and they, they just get to play with it and love it. So they come and talk to me while I'm gardening. It's pretty cute. So you can see the chickens now, they're extremely happy. This is their job for the day and they're going to be turning this compost and rotating all of that stuff down into basically just doing my job for me. So it's still a little bit wet here in North Idaho. It's not, it's, it's very early spring. Let's just say that. But this is my compost. It's nice. I'm black and beautiful. There's no rocks in it. You can see everything has been broken down and it's ready to go right on the garden, just like this. So let's load up this wheelbarrow and get this compost over to the garden. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the little bell so you don't miss any more videos. So you're probably wondering, how long does it take to go from this to this? Well, honestly, I don't even know. We basically, we just keep putting the stuff in the run. We let it sit, we use what we want when we want it, and we always have enough. But we have so far never run out. We've never had to haul in more compost except for when we built a brand new garden and we didn't have as many goats. That's about the only time we've ever had to haul in compost in, let's see, the last, gosh, four years at least now. So you be the judge. Do you think using chickens for compost is a good idea? Personally, I think it works pretty great. All of this produce and these beautiful flowers have been grown using our chicken compost machine. Do you think you'll give it a try this year? If you are going to, please leave me a comment down below. And that's all there is to it. That's it. The chickens did all the work. Now I have this beautiful compost right in my garden. All I gotta do is break up a few chunks and this bed is ready to plant. So thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you've learned a lot about how we use our chickens to make our compost for us. Stay tuned for so many more videos just like today's. We'll see you guys again real soon. Well, there's an airplane.
Are you harassing the chicken? I want it to take I, she's laying an egg. <laughs> what are you doing, Maggie? <laughs> It's a busy day today.